20 or phosphor bronze. What is the difference between these two kinds of acoustic guitar string? And what effect does that difference have on the sound and playability of your instrument? My name is Michael Watts and in this video I'm going to test both kinds of strings on the same guitar to find out. We're recording my guitar today under professional studio conditions with some beautiful microphones, but we're not using any EQ, reverb or effects. I'll play the same musical examples with both sets of strings. Today we're using gauge 12 to 53, and if you're interested in a video comparing different string gauges, we have one for you too. Both sets are Elixir NanoWebs, which means that they feel fantastic, there's barely any finger squeak, and of course, that great sound is gonna last for ages. I use both kinds of strings very happily, depending on the kind of music I'm playing. Let's look at 8020 first. These strings have been around since the 1930s, so they've given us nearly a century of beautiful sounds. The name bronze is a misnomer in this case. The wrap wire is 80% copper and 20% zinc which actually gives you brass. But these strings have been known as bronze since the early 20th century and I'm not about to change that today. It's no exaggeration to say that these 8020 coated strings, when they first hit the market, were a real game changer. Uh, suddenly, guitarists were able to do a whole studio session and a gig that night with the same set of strings. The 8020 bronze sets, they do have this beautiful full bass response that, that I really enjoy. They've got this shimmer in the top end. It is admittedly a slightly scooped sound and if you're looking for something that has a more flat fundamental character across the range, well that's where the phosphor bronze come in. Phosphor bronze strings have a very different personality which I also love. I'm not going to say too much about the difference because I want you to listen and come to your own conclusions.
was a richness and a warmth and balance to phosphor bronze strings. Uh, I tend to use them in situations like jazz sessions, uh, supporting vocals, anywhere where you need that hi-fi sound. Elixir strings have been a vital part of my life as a musician for decades now, and I'm very proud to be an endorsing artist. I hope you found this video helpful. I've enjoyed playing for you today. Thank you so much to Elixir Strings for making me sound as good as possible, and thank you to you for watching. Thank you.